Okay, now we're going to get into an, some examples where you are going to have to figure out what goes in what category. Okay, so during a promotion, Amazon reduced the price of an iPad mini by $56. The original price was $224. What was the percent of the discount? Okay, so we know that the discount and the percent of the discount go together. Well, the discount, the reduced price by $56, which means that the amount of the discount is 56. So I know that this has to be the percent of a discount. Well, it doesn't give me a percent, so this is what I'm going to be looking for. Which means that what goes in the middle here is our original price. So our original price, and that is $224. Okay, so here's what I've got going on here is I know that this times this is that, times is. So X times 224 equals 56. To get the x by itself, to undo multiplication, I divide. So x is equal to 56 divided by 224, which tells me that x is 0 0.25. But remember, this is a percent. I have to take this decimal and turn it into a percent. So, of course, how do I do that? I take this and move it two places to the right. So, the discount is 25%. and that is the amount of the discount. And iPads never go on sale, so that's not a good question. Okie dokie, let's continue on. Uh, the bill at a restaurant is $43 and you want to leave a 20% tip. How much tip should you leave? Okay, well let's see what we can do. And I, again, I urge you to stop the video and try these if you can. Um, the percent of tip is 20%. How much tip should you leave? That's what we're looking for. Since this is the tip, this is the tip. Which tells us in the middle here that the bill at the restaurant is $43. That is our reference value. the bill at the restaurant. And this is what we're looking for. Okie dokie, so I am going to take this and turn it into a decimal. So that becomes 0 0.20 times 43 is x. Oh, this is an easy one. So if I multiply that out, I get that x is equal to 860, and this is a dollar amount. Now this is another way, and we actually talked about this at the beginning. If you want to find a 20% tip, if it's $43, 10% would be $4.30. You move the decimal over once, and then you double that, and that becomes 860. So rather than, I'll just do a verbal explanation rather than write that down on here. Okay. In a medical study, it was found that 9% of people who kissed someone that had a cold caught the cold themselves. Okay, so we've got a percent here. I know that is 9% caught cold. 
So that's going to be 9%. Now, of the people who kiss someone with a cold, so that is going to be the people who kissed, and then this is going to be the number that caught cold. Okay, 81 people caught a cold. So that is going to be the number who caught cold. So this is going to be our 81. If I filled out two of the three blanks, the third blank has to be our variable. So 9% becomes 0 0.09 times x is 81. Divide by 0 0.09. So x is 81 divided by 0 0.09, which is 900. Okay. And again, rather than take the time on the videos to write this down, 9% is a little less than 10%. So if I'm starting at this amount, 10% would be 90. 81 is a little less than, than 90. So 9% is a little bit. So it seems reasonable. And again, that's what we want to look at with these benchmark percent, percents. Okay, the rest of these ask you to pretty much set the whole thing up. So let's do that. You have a 15% off coupon for a TV that costs $412. How much will you save by using the coupon? Okay, well this is pretty easy. This is my 15% off. So that is the discount with the coupon. So this has to be the coupon. So this is also the discount with the coupon in dollars. This is the percent discount. So the one in the middle has to be the cost of the TV. And we see here that the TV costs $412, and this is what we don't know. Okie dokie. So my equation is going to be 0 0.15 times 412 is x. So x is 6180. <coughs> and again, in your head, be thinking about your benchmarks. Out of a group of, of students, 17 said that they work a full-time job. This number is 24% of the number of students surveyed. Okay, so I can see that the 17 and the 24% go together. So 24% deals with the full-time jobs. So this is full-time workers. And there were 17. And this is also full-time workers. And this is 24%. Then a group of students. So that means this must be the students.
That's what we don't know, so that's our x. 24, turn it into a decimal. 0 0.24 times x is equal to 17. When I divide both sides by 0 0.24, I get that x is 17 divided by 0 0.24, so x is 70.83, and I am going to round that to 71 students. Which, you know, just think about it reasonably. It's not, you can, you know, money you round to dollars and cents. People, we don't want pieces of people. Okay. Sonia has $29.15 deducted from her weekly gross earnings of $265 for federal income tax. What percent? Okay, well, that's easy. What percent of the pay? So this is withholding. tax, which means this is also withholding tax. Okay, so she has 29.17 deducted. That is the withholding tax as a number. Um, what percent? We don't know that. That's what they want to find out. So this has to be the gross earnings. And that from the problem is $265. So if I set up my equation, this means x times 265 is equal to 2915. If I divide both sides by 265, remember anything, $2.62, I'm sorry, that's not a decimal, 265, then x is equal to 29.15 divided by 265. So x is 0 0.11. But remember, they want to know what percent. So I move this two places to the right, and this becomes 11% in withholding. OK. Um, I'm going to see if I can go ahead and finish these. Okay, 11 A and B. The American Floral is 120 million roses were sold for Valentine's Day in 2016. Using the information, if 73% of the roses sold on Valentine's Day were red roses, how many red roses? Okay, so we know we have our equation. So our percent times our reference value is equal to our compared value. So we know our percent is 73, and these are red roses, which means this also must be red roses. The percent and the number. Um, and that is what they want to know. How many red roses were sold that day? So that's going to be our X. So that means our reference value must be 120 million. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, I didn't leave myself enough room here to write 120 million. 
So this is 120, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Thankfully, this is just a real easy multiplication. We don't have to do any division with this. So if I convert this to a, a decimal, this is 0 0.73 times 120, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, equals what we want to know. So this is 87,600,000. And that sounds about right. Okay. Using the information in the prompt, if 48% 40 of all cut flowers were roses, how many cut flowers were sold that day? All right. So I know I have my percent times my reference value is equal to my compared value. Well, what they want to know is how many cut flowers were sold that day. Well, let's see. Here's my percent. So 48%. And these are roses. So these must also be roses. This is the percent, this is the number. Well, if I go back up to the problem, I know that the number of roses was 120 million. And we want to know how many flowers were cut that day. So this is cut flowers. And that's our X. Turn it into a decimal. 0 0.48 times x is 0.48. So I'm going to divide both sides. So this is 120, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, divided by 0 0.48, which tells me there were 250 million cut flowers. Okay. All right, so that's that. We'll see you on the flip side.